What's up everybody? Today I got something for you. I got a quarantine braid up haircut. You know what I'm saying? Honestly guys, I really enjoy doing haircuts when my hair is braided because it's just easier. Um, when your hair is already in sections and it's all gathered together, you don't have to worry about cutting too much off. You can just kind of follow the areas that are already faded if you have a fade like me. So enough talking, let me get to showing you what I actually mean. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, first thing guys, of course you need your fader. You know, I always have my one guard on, one guard. And that's just to even everything out to a pretty good low level, low, low level, whoa. <laughs> and I close the clipper guard. And boom, let's get to it. Okay, so I start with the front here, you know. Just gotta blend that down. It's a downward motion. Downward, just, you start from the part of the braid. See, the part there, that space. Just go downwards. So it's actually very easy. When you have braids, it's a lot easier than when you don't have braids, to be honest. Just go with the part. Take your time, you know. You might wanna go slower than me if you're a beginner. Like it was a bit of a pro at this, so. So I'm just gonna go this motion all the way around. It's not gonna make too much of a difference, but it's gonna even everything out, okay? So as you go to the back, you just gonna go in a downward motion from the part. Okay guys, from the part there, just downward motion. Just keep going till you can bend it as well as possible. Try to start from the top, downwards. And very important when you're doing this, also make sure that you're brushing your hair in between. Okay. That just helps you see how your hair is going to be after. You can do the fade as well as possible. Okay guys, this part is probably the most important if you want to have a crisp fade. You have to make a guideline. So the guideline, what that pretty much means is that's where the fade is going to start. So from the below the guideline is where you're going to kind of go towards like a bald type of fade depending on how low you want it. And the higher part is where you're going to have more hair. So there's a bit of a, a gradient there, okay? So what I like to do is, if you guys can see here, a bit of a weird base here. <laughs> Since I was young, I don't know why, but hair doesn't really grow here too much. So I'm gonna fade from there. So I took my guard off and I'm opening the clipper so it's not too deep. That way, if you make a mistake a little bit, it's not too sharp where you can't recover from it, okay? And so you wanna make it just go all the way around your hair to the side, as symmetrical as possible. So I'm gonna start right under here, okay? Right there, let's just go downward. Okay, so I see the line there. If I'm satisfied with it, I'm gonna close the guard down so it's sharper and go all the way. Just go downwards. And then the rest of it, just bring it down. Okay, and then trying to match the other side with that too. I'm gonna trace my fingers here like that. Okay, so about here. Okay. And just like that. Yeah. And so I don't go all the way to the front of the lineup because I want this part here to have hair just so that it looks sharp. And you need more hair to have it look sharp like that. So I'm just gonna leave this part, okay? And I'm gonna do that. Just end it there and just go down from here. So now I look at it, it looks pretty even. Alright. And this is the ugliest part of your haircut. So if someone walks in while you're doing this, you're gonna be like, yo, you done up. But, you know what I'm saying, just don't panic. You know, it's a bit shaky here. Just keep rushing at it, you know? 
Just remember, man, it's the end goal, all right? We got time, we're gonna get this right. So, I wanna connect the guidelines, okay? I'm gonna turn around, use my mirror. I can actually see the price, 150 right there. <laughs> From dollar store. Okay. So I went as far back as I could see. As you guys see there, all right? So now, towards the back, I'm gonna try and come a bit low. there give a slow motion right but also still straight okay in the middle there is keep it straight down okay we can just shave all this down so that side is pretty much done all right and don't panic it doesn't have to be perfect guys remember this is just a guideline now look on this side here. I'm gonna try and do the same thing, okay? Guys, okay, so after you do this part, you want to now open the guard, okay? And right where the space is, you're just gonna go upwards with the guard open, okay? Just upwards motion like that. Okay, not too far up, just, just a bit. Words. And your point of doing this just to blend in that line a bit, okay? And just do this motion a bit there too. Okay. I'm gonna erase that sharp defined line. And do that all around now. You blend that in a bit, you're gonna grab the guard again. I'm gonna close the guard. Okay, and now we're gonna go in an upward motion. All the way to the top. Top as in where this line is. Okay. Just take your time. Remember, you're probably not gonna be perfect on the first try. You know what I'm saying? But if I can do it, you can do it. it takes time, you know. But it's very worth it because you're not only gonna save a lot of money, but just knowing that you can do your hair however you want, whenever you want, there's a lot of freedom and power in it. All right, guys, so at this part, things should be starting to make a bit of sense. If they're not, then I'm sorry, you're just handicapped and you might as well just cut your whole hair off. I'm playing. <laughs> just remember, take your time. As you guys can see, it's starting to make a bit of sense. There's still some ridges and some parts where it aren't clearly defined, but we're going to get to that, all right? And after that, you just want to go with the downward motion. Um, just clean it all up all the way around so you guys can see there's still a bit of sharp lines right there so right now we're going to try and blend that in okay and so to do that we're going to remove the guard open the clipper and so where that line is right where it's not that clearly defined we're going to go a little bit above that maybe like a centimeter or two and we're just going to go downwards okay just like that okay I like to do this sometimes just because it helps get all the small hairs. And this is really where the magic starts to happen. So it's to make more sense. If you got here, then I'm really proud of you. You're a few steps closer to being your own personal barber. To breaking the cold. Now the fade is starting to make sense. I'm just gonna do that all the way around. All right guys, so at this point, you might realize that some parts of your line are still there. If you look right here, it's still there. So there's two things you should do. At this point, open the guard. Just try to go upward to that line. Knock it off a bit. And I actually learned how to cut my hair from watching a few people and just trial and error. Don't forget to brush. Okay, and now it's starting to make sense. You guys can see there. Of course you're wondering, where'd I go from here? How'd I get my hair really looking crisp and sharp? We're gonna get right into that, okay? So what I like to do usually is I like to line it up, line up my hair, and then try to fade this ends a bit more. But today actually, I'm gonna trim my beard a little bit. So 
going to put the guard on. Okay, close the guard. Just start from here. Just about to the bottom of my ear. I'm going to start from the bottom of my ear upwards as well. Now we're going to open the guard. And just go down a little bit. And same thing with the other side. Damn, and just like that, I look like I'm three years younger. <laughs> So now, there's many different ways you can fade or line up your beard. You can just line it up straight, but I want to have a little fade right here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the guard, right? And right around, you know, I'm actually going to open the guard, right? And then right from the, bottom, from the middle of my ear, it's going to go upwards. Same thing with the other side. And now with the guard still open, I'm gonna go downwards. Just to the end of my ear. Okay, same thing with this side. All right guys, so now time for the lineup. If you made it this far, I'm proud of you. You're almost there, don't give up. But do not let up either. This is the main event. You guys already know this, your lineup makes or breaks your haircut. Okay, so before you even start, make sure you brush your hair. If people are talking to your house, tell them all to shut up. It's time for you to focus. You have to put all your energy to this. You have to imagine you're doing your final exam and this decides whether or not you're successful in life. Because your lineup can, it has that power. Okay, so brush, take your time, look at the sides, look at everywhere and develop your plan, okay? Imagine, envision how your lineup is gonna look after you're done, okay? Blow your clipper, and let's get to it. So, start in the middle, you see that? If you're a beginner, you can start by not trying to get on and just imagining what you would do, okay? Just imagine it. So I'm gonna show you my tricks to getting a sharp lineup, all right? So first, start in the middle, get as straight as possible, okay? Don't go in too deep. Just go a few times. Don't go over too many times, okay? Then start making your way to one side. And start making your way to the other side, okay? Boom. Stop. Take a second, okay? Now look at your lineup. Make sure everything is looking straight. Now what I want to do is these corners here. I want to start working at them. I want them to be as straight and as sharp as possible. And I want to see where I want the line up to start. So, look here. Look at the top of your hair too. Imagine where you want that line to be. Okay. So, I'm just imagining right here. Okay guys, right here. And I'm gonna go up a bit to there to make it sharp. Okay. When you start from the line up, okay. Down. Make sure you don't put your, your eyebrows off this. If you do that, yeah, you just mess up everything. You gotta sit line up, can't save that. Okay, a few times. Don't go too hard, too gently. Add a few times, you know. See where the line is now? I'm gonna try to match on this side here. Okay, I just need a little bit of a guide. You know? And now, we're gonna make sure this part connects to that perfectly, okay? So we're gonna start right in the middle. Go downwards, okay? Let's trace it back to the middle. Alright. And then, we're gonna commit now fully and connect. So, you see that it's not really sharp there? So I'm gonna Remember you don't wanna push your line up in, so let's just start from it and then go away. So now we've done that, we're gonna go downwards. It's right from there, okay? Looks pretty straight to me. Okay, so guys just take your time, easy does it, okay? Then after you're done this, you've made everything cemented. Just go over it a bit. 
just not to be like this is just to sharpen everything you've already done okay okay so now after that you've done most of it i'm gonna get this area here okay so again compared to the other side okay i'm gonna start around here okay just try to go on a slant like that follow your natural line up that's the main tip from this actually follow your natural line up I'm gonna try to make a lineup. Alright, we're gonna do this part here. It's two and away. Or from away. It's the same thing on the other side. So now we're gonna just stretch your cheek and go through. Let's go too deep. All right. Now we're gonna do bottom. Okay. Don't go too high. Let's go a bit above your Adam's apple. Downward motion. And after that part, when it comes to your mustache, just do this. And now for the back. To the back, you've already faded everything. So just to make it look cleaner, you just put a line. Try to find a follow your natural line a bit there. However faint it is. You just do that. The other side as well. So this part is actually hard, I'm not gonna lie, because you're cutting the back of your hair with a mirror. Definitely takes some getting used to, but just take your time. That's when you get pulled like me. Alright. Let me show you guys the finishing product. Give me one second. Whew, we looking clean, boy. Honestly, guys, I really appreciate you if you stayed all the way here. And I hope, I hope, I pray that you're able to have fly haircuts for the rest of this quarantine. I mean, depending on where you are, if you're in the state somewhere, I'm sure you guys are already living your best lives, but stay safe out there and make sure you look clean. No excuses. Now, honestly though, like if you follow this channel, there's no reason why you should have crusty hair or you should be not fly. Like if I see you ever, you come up to me and like, oh, hey, I seen you on YouTube, bro. What's up? And your hair is messed up. I'm gonna flame you. I'm gonna flame you because obviously your subscription is not working. And it's free. I mean, uh, I'm not trying to swear on YouTube, but it's free. Come on, guys. Stay fly, all right? If you have hair by now, you should be doing your braid ups. You can't do that. No one's braid your hair for you. You should be doing your curl routine. There's no excuse at that point, you know what I'm saying, guys? But I um, appreciate you guys. Much love. Follow our Instagrams down below. Shout out to y'all. Stay safe. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Peace.